Go ahead. Mommy's trying to poop. What do you need from me? Every time. Go away. Bam. Your mom has horrible toes right now. Ignore the toes. Ma'am. Trouble. And you guys, I'm not forcing her to stay in here with me. I leave her out because I am a try to be a good parent. But then she cries and wants to be in here. And so while I'm trying to do my business, she just wants to play or she wants to be held like weirdest little dog ever. But I love my little squirrel. Say good morning or good afternoon. It's 8 o'clock in the afternoon. Mommy's been sleeping all day. My little squirrel. My little squirrel. My little baby. I need to sweep in here. I'm tired. Uh-huh. Tell them this is what I do to my mommy when she's trying to poopy. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I love you. Hello, familia. Welcome back. Um, I don't remember what time it was in the last clip. I want to say it was like early, early in the morning or really late. Either way, it's the next morning. It is Saturday afternoon, actually. Afternoon. Um, after I was done pooping... Uh, maybe and I stayed up for a little bit longer and then we went to bed and then this morning honey took off to go to work and he texted me maybe 30 minutes ago saying to get dressed because he was coming home so we can go get something to eat so here I am it's 12 40 something I can't see that far but I'm letting my hair naturally air dry so right now what you see is actually my natural curls as I'm getting older my hair is starting to like Wave, Pincha Flo left a couple of her kids behind, but that's okay. I'll babysit them. No biggie, no big deal. Um, did my makeup, and yeah, I just got this cute little blouse from um, uh, what is it called? I was gonna put it in a haul, but I needed something to wear, so I don't know. I'm gonna put it in a haul later, but I can't think of the name. It's a store I normally don't go to. Um, shit. Anyways, I'm out of it, obviously, still. But yeah, just rocking some makeup. And like I said, just letting my hair air dry for right now, waiting for the honey to get here. Um, I'm nursing a headache, unfortunately, again. So I've got my big red here. I took off all my nail polish finally. I'll probably do that today or tomorrow. Um, I cleaned my ring, so I got that going on. But other than that, just trying to look cute and living my best life. But yeah, I got a little bit of dry skin there. And then, like I said, I don't have pimples, but my skin is just like bumpy. So it's just frustrating. So we're just going to focus on this side of the face. <laughs> but yeah, don't have nothing very much planned. Just spend some time with the babe. And then tomorrow I don't go back to work till. 10 o'clock at night, so we're just gonna try to make the best of it. But I think I'm just gonna lay down on the sofa here for a little bit till he gets here because my head does really, really hurt. I fucking hate that on my days off, like, I, something happens, like, I just don't feel good or I get a headache or I'm just super, super tired. I sleep the whole time, so it's frustrating. But we're gonna try to make this a little bit more interesting for y'all, okay? Promise. She's keeping her mama company. She knows I don't feel good. But that tan, though. Oh, you laying down with mama. Yeah, pretty girl. I love you, Bambina. She's so dainty, my little squirrel. Dainty princess. Dainty princess. Dainty princess. 
Yeah, he's gonna pop my pimples now. You need to be here. <laughs> we almost have the same camera. Or the whole, we almost have the same hair on camera. Okay. Go, babe. I'm all red? My face. Your face, yes. My face is just. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Not coming out. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you're so your face. <laughs> you're focused on it. It's time for us to go to bed soon. It's getting late. You need to get off your daddy's underwear. Mommy does. You're so weird. She likes to lay on top of our clothes. Like if I have I have the hamper over here on the right hand side. And she'll lay on my dirty clothes or his dirty clothes. Look at her. Ojitos. Oh, she's so sleepy. Ojitos. Ojitos. You're sleepy, mama. Okay. We're going to go to bed soon. I promise. We'll go Mimi's right now. Mimi's? Right now? Mimi's? I love you. Mwah. Mimi's? Right now? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm exhausted. Oh, I just got done picking up or picking off all those blackheads. But... My sleep routine is so off, like I can't stop yawning. It's like one in the morning right now, so we are gonna go to bed. Um, I wanted to paint, paint. I wanted to color my hair today, cause my hair, like I told y'all in a clip, you don't know if it was last video, this video, where I've got like different shades of brown everywhere. But whatevs. Whatevs, I think it's time to go to bed, cause this one, <laughs> but I mean my hair looks good and my tan's coming through really really well I think I'm gonna go tan in the morning 
before because um, tomorrow Sunday so I'm gonna have to tan tomorrow early get up early as soon yeah you can see my tan Lord Jesus she's coming through um, I'm gonna have to go tan early in the morning because you can't tan unless it's 24 hours in between so if I tan early Sunday morning when I get off Monday morning I can go because I think the end of my my month is like June 5th or 6th or some shit like that unless I want to pay for the next month which I don't think I need to because I still think I have enough credit to do one more month if I wanted to but I'll play by ear but yeah so definitely loving the tan still have not had a chance to go and go swimming this whole time I've been overnight but I do love the tan it is coming through I love it um but I want to show you this hot mess I have in the kitchen because I have been buying stuff and not putting it up because I want to do a haul um, but it's like mixed with shit so let me show you so please forgive the hot mess you guys I normally am not like this but it is what it is but in here I have stuff from like Ulta the name of that store I was telling you all was Melrose the blue top I was in earlier I have another top in here that I bought it's from Melrose um, I have a dress that I bought from uh, TJ Maxx, makeup and perfume I bought from Ulta, some goodies that I picked up at Dee Dee's, like just random stuff, things from the Dollar Tree, like I had bought a new um, dish drying mac, it has flamingos and palm trees, you guys know how I feel about palms, and then I have this serving tray that I was going to put behind me. Um, I had bought some soaps, things of that nature. I don't know if I should go through it all. I really need to so I can have this space cleared out. So I guess we can go through that really quickly, the stuff that I can show you right away. Um, I had got this from Dee Dee's. It is the Dove Hair Therapy Pro A Shampoo with, uh, Micro Moisture Serum. Nurses to Restore Strength, Fullness, and Vitality. I got that for... $3.99 and I love how Dove products smell almost all my products are Dove products if you didn't know that already then you know it now so I got that so there's one bag emptied out so that's great um this bag has been being as dog food so nothing crazy there so I'll move that over here oh, yay. and there's stuff in here that I forgot you guys um from the Dollar Tree I had bought this, oh, I bought this for, yeah, I bought this, hello. It is a pineapple scarf in this, like, pretty, pretty, pretty baby pink color with, like, bright uh, pineapples. I bought this to wear to wrap around my head, like, whenever I go to the pool or something, or just to tie around my head. Such a nice, lightweight material for a dollar, and it's pretty large. I mean, you could even wrap this around your waist as a cover-up. <laughs> I used to do that, too. But uh, this is going to be used for a whole bunch of stuff. So I got that from the Dollar Tree. What else is in there? Oh, yeah, I got this from Dollar Tree, too. Um, I can start using it now. It is the Dove Beauty Cream. You get 2.53 fluid ounces. I guess it's trying to focus. Um, it is brand new. The foil wrap is inside. And I didn't realize that they sold Dove products at the Dollar Tree. So go figure. And they also had... Um, Oh, I was gonna. I should have shown the video of it, but they sell um, Summer's Eve there or something Eve. It's, it's that stuff you use to clean your your kitty. So whatever. Um, this is just my lip gloss that I just brought in the house. Okay. So next, that's for the cats. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll do this one. So also from the Dollar Tree, I got, like I told y'all, the palm tree and flamingo style. I could have sworn I got the towel too. Yes, I did. There it is. So I got this to replace my dish rack. And then I got the matching dish towel. This why is it not focusing? I wanted two of these to hang off of my uh, oven, but I only could get one. So when I hit another Dollar Tree, I'll look for another one because I think that is so, so cute. <clears throat> ah! Yeah, just making it worse right now. Making it worse. But I thought this was so cute just to have out uh, next to me or behind me on the stove to tie in with all the flamingo theme. Um, I bought some Dentec Repair Max Repair Kit. 
because it never hurts. Um, Jonathan is always losing a cap or his fillings. So I bought two of those because these at Walmart are like three or four dollars a piece. So there's that. I had bought a new nail polish to transition into. Um, this is coming off coral on camera, but in person it's like a bright pink. And the color Kiss Me from LA Colors. I am not particular about nail polishes. I don't really care what the brands are. A nail polish is a nail polish. But honestly, the pink that's in my hand is just a little bit more vibrant pink than this. And But on camera it's coming off coral. I don't know why. But... I don't know why I won't focus. It's just acting up. Anyways, I had bought that. I had also bought these. I love these. These are the LA Colors Nail Polish Remover. They're the wipes, and they do smell like strawberries. They take off everything, so I love those. So I got one of those. For my bathroom and my kitchen, I picked up some soaps. Ah, oh, what is falling down? Um, they sold Dial, so I got coconut water and mango to go into the bathroom. And then I got Himalayan salt to go in the kitchen because everything needs to match. So I have pink to match all this. And I have this blue one to match all the blue in the bathroom. So go figure. I also purchased... That's empty. I also purchased cotton rounds uh, because I ran out and needed some more for that Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost stuff that you use to take off your makeup. So there's that. I guess we can do, this just has mail in it. You've got mail. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's move that over here. <gasps> ah, hold on. Um, from Walmart, I picked up another pair of these pre-moist and soft wipes because I usually just use them for either the restroom or for, to remove makeup, whichever one is the need. From Ulta, from a previous video, I told you that I had gone to Ulta. I was going to do a sit-down haul because I didn't realize that I had purchased uh, two pairs of shoes, two blouses, and a dress. So I think I honestly might still save that for... <sighs> Fuck it. I'll just share it now. <laughs> so from uh, Ulta, I had picked up the Versace Bright Crystal in the 1.7 Fluid Ounce. This is not my regular uh, fragrance. If you follow me for a long time, you know the Alien is my fragrance from uh, Thierry Mugler or Terry or Thierry Mugler um, but Versace Bright Crystal is something is that I used to wear all the time when I was younger just to hold me over so I only picked up the 1.7 fluid ounce which is already on my vanity I also picked up the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray in the 1 fluid ounce so I picked that up The Tarte Shape Tape, focus bitch, in the color Light Sand. So I picked that up as well. I have the Urban Decay D Slick Complexion Primer, Shine Control and Pore, minimize, my, uh, pore Minimizing and Mattifying. I love the packaging on this. It feels really, really nice. And this is also in a... A 0.95 fluid ounce so I picked that up I also picked up a new mascara they were having a sale on like these little things were like 10 bucks a piece so I got this for like 10 bucks it is Urban Decay Perversion Volumizing Mascara so definitely looking forward to that and I got it in the color bigger black or better I don't think that's right maybe it is I'm not sure So, got that, and then I think that was it. Oh, no, there's something else in here. And then I picked up another foundation from Tarte. Again, these were only, like, everything of these little ones were, like, 10 bucks. The bigger things were, like, the Dislick and the Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray because those were, like, still, like, 28 and 30 bucks. But I picked up the Tarte High Performance Naturals Clay Stick Foundation in the color Medium Neutral. I honestly don't know what kind of finish this has to it. But the one that I got from NARS is just not the business right now. So I have to blend it in. So this one looked like it would be a good compromise. So from 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five. So I got six things from Ulta. So there's that. Is that bag empty now? Yes, it is. So hold on one second. All right. So next from Dee Dee's, I have two pairs of shoes that I totally forgot about, unfortunately. I literally forgot that I purchased these, and that's horrible. So they are both from Guess. Uh, one is a pair of tennis shoes, and one is a pair of sandals. So I picked up another pair of white because, unfortunately, and they're already scuffed up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I think I got these on clearance. Yes, I did. That's why I got them. So they're scuffed up a little bit, but I can still take some bleach to them. But overall, relatively, they are still very, very new. Um, they have not been worn. The bottoms are clean from this angle. They don't look clean, but they're clean. Um, they have a silver G. And on the back of the heel, it is this pretty, like, silver, silver glittery nonsense. It's really, really cute. It's just a piece of fabric. And then the laces also have some glitter to them. So that's a cute little touch. I got them in a size 10. And then they were on clearance because normally these are like $25. And I got it on clearance for... Bitch, what is going on? Is it because you're tired? $11.99. So I couldn't pass that up. So I just got to give them a little clean... A little cleaning, but that seems to be the only real spot. I mean, everything else is, like, relatively clean. But, yeah, I had to throw one of these away already because Ben B and I found a pair and started chewing on them. And that was the only other white pair that I had. No, I have one more. That's a lie. Um, but they were the only ones that I always wore all the time. So then I picked up, and those are in a size 10. And then I picked up a pair of sandals to have for summer. These are also by Guess, and these were also on clearance in a size 10. And they are like this like light champagne gold color. And it looks like almost like it's like a crocodile style or like a snake print, but it's really, really pretty. And on the actual strap, it has a gold G with like little CZs on it, and it's on both. And I got this on clearance for $6.99. Come on, honey. Just focus for me. Yep. Yep. So I got these on clearance for $6.99. So two pairs of shoes for under 20 bucks. So really, really good there. Okay. So next, I had purchased two blouses. The other one I was wearing earlier, which was that pretty, like, royal blue blouse. Um, it was off the shoulder in a size 3X. And it had bell sleeves that were all uh, like a crochet lace material very very pretty blouse i absolutely love it um it's so so pretty i haven't been to melrose in a hot minute and i think i did a inside the fencing ugh. i think i did an inside the fitting room last summer if not the summer before and i was just disappointed because i said that the clothing just did not they ran more of a junior sizing but i don't know if maybe they they heard people's complaints or what but like all of the things that i tried on fit like with with room to spare like some of this stuff like the, these two blouses are a little bit loose but nothing crazy but this is also another off the shoulder blouse and i love it i love the bell sleeves on it these they're just dramatic bell sleeves they have beautiful red roses all over them vivid green leaves um this was 12.99 like i said in a 3xl and it fits like a dream like it is so pretty and it's gonna look so phenomenal with my tan skin i bought this before i started tanning but it's just got these dramatic bell sleeves. So hopefully I'll be able to try that on for y'all. Um, like I said, the other shirt is in the exact same style. The only difference is is that it has a crochet um, lace all along from basically from the elbow down. And then I bought this cute little number to wear on my head. Whenever I have either a ponytail or a bun, it already has a, a knot already in it. So I don't have to tie it up or anything. But just something little cute, a little extra just to... This is a shout out to my girl Shannon Miller. Because she's always wearing stuff like this on her head. Like a little... Whenever she has a ponytail or a bun, I think it's so, so cute. And I think this will look really, really cute with my dark, dark hair. So I got that. And then from TJ Maxx, I already shared with y'all on a... Oh, different video that I had purchased makeup. I had bought um, like the NARS foundation. I had bought some a lip, uh, what is it? A lipstick, a liquid lipstick, and some other things. But I had also found this Calvin Klein dress, and I this is a dress I think I'm gonna wear for the quinceanera for next year. 
but I'm still on the fence. But for what I paid for it, even if I don't wear it next year for the quinceanera or something comes up this summer, I'm, I'm ready to go. So it is a Calvin Klein, as you can see, in a size 24. Um, Calvin Klein's are not cheap, but they were originally going to sell it for $16.99. I don't know how they get $22, but anyways, I paid $12, and it is beautiful scuba style bodycon dress and maybe I should insert a clip of me wearing it because it's just not going to do it justice but it is just very flattering it has these cuts along the side it's in this royal blue color with like this baby blue flowers I don't know what kind they are blue roses with this vivid green it's fairly decent the length comes down to mid calf so I don't know maybe I'll just insert a clip of me wearing this one and maybe the blouse too hold on all right, so here is a dress. I'm really close to the mirror just because the lighting in my bathroom sucks and everything always comes off yellow. But this way you can see the vivid color of this dress. It is, like I said, the background is this beautiful royal blue, almost purple color. Excuse me. Has all of these roses, has a nice deep V. I'm not wearing the right bra, obviously, but I wanted you to see that it does have a seam that runs right above my waist area. My waist for me typically is like right here, so it runs up here, so it kind of like tucks you in. It has these cutouts on the side that just kind of like it just kind of brings that attention in, like it's just hugged in. And then, like I said, it is just like the perfect length for me. I will, I'm okay with it even being right there, even I think. And you never know, I might get it shortened up between then and now um, to where it's like right above the knee maybe a little bit. Just take it to a seamstress because it is just like this beautiful scuba style dress. But I want to wear it with those. If you've been with me for a while, you know I have these nude um, little kitten heels that I bought from Lane Bryant for this quinceanera for next year. And I think they'll go perfect with this dress because I'm going to be super tan by then. Uh, that is the plan. And worst case scenario, for 12 bucks for a Calvin Klein dress, I still, if I, even if I wear it a couple times between now and then, um, I obviously would wear Spanx because it is clinging to the belly, the fupas. But I love it because, like, from right here in this light, you can see what I'm talking about. Like, it just sucks you in right here. It looks really, really nice. Once I have the heels on, my hair done, the right bra, the right Spanx, it's going to be beautiful. And then it does have a gold zipper that runs down the back and like I said it's at a good length right now it's past the knees but I'm okay with getting it hemmed maybe taking a couple inches off and it would still be a really cute dress and like I said even if I hemmed it look at that like it's just a very cute flattering dress and I love it like I absolutely love it so right now the length is like this and I'm okay with that but even if I took it that much shorter I love it I absolutely love it whoever says big girls can't wear loud patterns or whatever fuck you because I absolutely love this and for twelve dollars I wasn't gonna pass it up absolutely love it okay next is this blouse and I'm telling you I'm obsessed it is like the perfect summer blouse I can see myself rocking this I'm gonna end up going back to Melrose more frequently I actually like their clothing better than I liked um, rainbows unfortunately but it just sits in the right spot and it just stays there like I don't have to worry about it rolling up or dragging it down like I put it on and this is where it stays like that is the perfect spot I love the exaggerated bell sleeves. It's not for everybody, I know, but I absolutely love it. It's just like this very feminine touch. And like I said, even with it being a 3X, like you guys, oops, sorry, I still have so much room, but it doesn't look overly baggy on me. Do you know what I mean? And I love the colors, like the, the navy blue with the red and green. Like it looks so vibrant with my tan skin. I absolutely love it. And for $12.99, like, yes. And as you can see, right there it is a thin material but it's not see-through so like right now I'm wearing a black bra you can't see that like you literally cannot see that I don't think no you can't like love this blouse so so pretty absolutely love it like I cannot wait to rock this Ugh, so so cute so so flattering and I feel slimmer in it if that makes any sense like you know how there's some blouses that like certain cuts make you look better 
I feel like this cut overall makes me look really, really cute. Okay, and this is the last blouse. And the only reason my lighting now looks yellow is because the vibrancy of this freaking blue is like ridiculous. Again, another blouse from Rainbow. Oh, not Rainbows. Fuck Rainbows. Another blouse from <laughs> Melrose. Again, I don't know what it was because the last time I went, like I said, not, everything was so junior, junior. Like it was so petite. There's no way I could fit in it. As you can see, I have a lot of give. Like this isn't a 3X. I could have gone down to a 2X and I would have been okay. But I went with the 3X because this was on clearance. The only one they had. But like I told you, it has this beautiful like sheer crochet deal going on right here from the elbow down. And I absolutely love it. It's not a bell sleeve. But it is just a wide sleeve. It is off the shoulder. I mean, if you want to wear it up, you can, I guess. That is an option. It's not as cute, but I mean, I guess if you, you know, want to wear it to work. I mean, yeah, I guess you could. And like I said, from the side, it is a little flowy, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't make me look extremely large or anything. And you can still see my shape underneath it, so you can tell that I'm not that large. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I absolutely love it. But yeah, today you saw me wearing it like off the shoulder and that's how I would plan to wear it. If I wear it up the shoulder, it's going to be because I'm at work or something. But look at that blue, you guys. And the material is so lightweight. It's kind of like a, it's that material that's not forgiving. Like it has no stretch to it. I want to say rayon maybe, but I mean, it's super flowy and I love it. But this one was on clearance for like... $7.99 or some shit like that so I'm definitely gonna go back and check out their clearance but yeah I mean I was just eyeballing all the sizes and they were just fitting and I'm just like yes so and then Jonathan really liked this one today and I love the fact that where that sleeve ends like it covers up the fattier part of my arms not that I'm scared to show off my arms because you guys know I don't give a fuck but it's just that little extra to where I'm just like oh yeah look look at my forearms like they're muscular <laughs> Whew. It's a workout trying on clothes, you guys. A workout. But like I said, I could not pass up that Calvin Klein dress. And originally I had no plans of hemming it, but now when I was trying it on for y'all and I, I tucked it up with three, four inches, I'm like, dang, that makes a big difference. So once we get closer and I know I'm going to actually wear it to an event, whether it's that Quintanilla next March or something on this summer or fall, I mean, once I try on the heels, I'll see how I feel. But I think I am going to go down that route where I'm going to hem it like three or four inches to kind of like make it a little bit sexier but 12 bucks for a Calvin Klein dress and it's a Ponte style dress like that nice thick material but I can still breathe in it it has that beautiful gold detail of a zipper in the back that sells Calvin Klein on it like I couldn't pass that up I I knocked it out of the park with Melrose on those blouses like I wasn't expecting to walk out with anything cute from that store because I've always it's always been a fail but, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to give them a chance again because I was not expecting it. And there was other stuff that I tried on that fit as well. I just didn't buy them because they didn't call me, like, those two blouses. And I told myself, if I walk out with anything, it's going to be, like, one or two things. I'm not going to spend crazy money when I know that they always get new shipment of clothing. And they had Selena t-shirts there. And they had just, they had a lot of things. Um, so definitely going to check them out. So Melrose. You're back on my radar. I don't know if anybody else has had an opportunity to go check you out. If you are a true plus size, not junior plus size. It's not that there's anything wrong with that, but like, you know, you're you're a thick 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Like, check them out. Like, I am on the smaller size on the top of a 24. And on the bottoms, I'm like a 22, 24. So that pointed dress does fit me a little loose. But like I said... I'm okay with that. I want to be a little bit loose when I'm sweating and, dry and dancing, you know what I mean? My last purchases I've made for the month of May, since we are officially June 1st, are my two... Uh, can you see them? Yes, you can. So I purchased two, so I don't know if I told you already, my jewelry department went out of business at my store. So all the fine jewelry, like all the gold, all the diamond rings, all the everything went to 80% off. So these rings were normally... They are white gold, and they have a quarter carat or some shit like that of uh, total weight in diamonds. Oh, can you see or not? Yeah, you can. So I bought two of them, and it was just to stack. Um, they ended up running 30 bucks a pop after everything was said and done at a final sale, and I think they were like 189 or some bullshit like that. I can't remember, but um, I had put them on layaway, and when the sale hit... Um, 
I ended up paying 60 bucks total for two white gold diamond bands. So, uh, yeah, so I stacked them like that, and I like how they look. Um, also, I can wear them another way. Let me show you. And like I said, I can even wear them like that. And I mean, they are super shiny, like legit, legit super shiny. I love them. Um, I couldn't pass it up. There was a whole bunch of other stuff, like rings that were normally like $600. People got them for like 90 bucks. And they were like a full carrot or whatever. I don't need anything like that because I have the rings that I have. But I love these bands. I think they're so, so cute. Um, I know that they don't match. Like I know the cuts are different because these are rounds. And then my, my Christmas ring is like baguettes. But I just like how it looks. It just, they stack up. They're, they don't have to be exactly the same. But I mean, it's in the same family. And I just love how everything looks. So everything I'm wearing is white gold and diamonds and I'm okay with that like I love that I'm just like BAM look at my rings and I always get so many compliments on this one ring alone because it's the Christmas ring from Walmart don't knock Walmart jewelry guys like don't knock it and now that I've got my two white gold bands like I said I have the options if I feel like it just to wear the two by themselves but lately I have just been wearing them stacked up and like I said 60 bucks for two white gold bands 10 karat white gold with a quarter carat of diamonds each like uh, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Don't hate. Don't hate. And I still have my other rings. Don't get me wrong. No, I had to switch them over to this hand because I feel like it's too much on this hand to wear rings on the thumb here right now. But that's where we're at. So Bambina's looking at me and Jonathan is, you know, living his best life. <laughs> so we're going to go to sleep. I love you all so, so much. And hopefully I get another vlog out tomorrow during the day. Just me doing some bullshit. And yeah. And I'll talk to you later. Good night. Mwah.